You are right to point out that the agapanthus is not a lily, especially to one who so loves precision, but the agapanthus is also called lily of the Nile, which surely could be seen as justification for calling it a lily. I am sure Cleopatra herself never called this plant agapanthus, and well, wouldn't one want to be more like Cleopatra than like Theophrastus? The queen of the Nile would have likely called it a lily, no? Yes, yes, words have meaning and have power and all of that stuff. Yes, yes, I of all people understand the importance of naming. But if Cleopatra would have called it a lily, okay, I'll stop. You look great, by the way. But I just want to point out that the agapanthus is such an odd plant that even botanists cannot agree on the number of species in the genus. Some saying six, others as many as 10. Okay, I swear I'll stop, seriously promise. The windy night air is cold and my wings are bound along my spine, sweaty and bruised, these long bandages chafing my armpits. Words have power, my love. You call this winged thing an angel, but that is not the word I would use for it.